Hey everyone, Mr. Voikin here, and we are moving on to Unit 2, Percentages, Ratios, and Rates. And the first couple lessons are just going to be a review of what you have already done. The first thing you should do is get these fractions here memorized, get them in your brain so that you can quickly call them up, and you're going to be a lot faster with your calculations. So let's just go through these really quick. We're going to start at the top left with 1 over 2, which is 1 half, and that is 50%. Below that, 1 over 3, or a third, is 33.333. So we're just going to round that to one decimal, which is going to be 33.3%. And 2 over 3 is 66.6666. And again, if we round that to one decimal, we'll actually get 66.7%. Next column, we got one over four or a quarter, and that is 25%. Three over four or three quarters is 75%. Now on to the fifths. We got one over five, which is 20%. Two over five, 40%. Three over five, 60%. Four over five, 80%. And now any fraction over 10 is just going to be uh, that number on top with a uh, times 10. So it's going to be 1 times 10, which is 10%. And 3 times 10, which is 30%. And finally, in the last column, we got a fraction over 100. And that's basically what a percent is, a number out of 100. So this is really easy. You just take the numerator and that becomes the percentage. Now in this case right here, 100 over 100, that is 100%. Okay, so let's quickly look at converting a fraction to a percentage again. And the first one you should uh, recognize because we just went over that and it's a number over 100 and that is what a percentage is. So that one is just 17%. Okay, and I'm gonna move down to the third one right there because if you notice right here, I've got a one over five and we knew that one over five is 20%. But what about this number three that's in front? Well, remember that uh, 100 over 100, that is one. And one is 100%. So three is 300%. So what this actually is, is 300, I'm gonna write that in red, it's 300% plus that 20%. So that's gonna be 320%. Okay, now the one that's in the middle is going to take a little bit of uh, mathematical computations because five over six, we don't have that one memorized at this point. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to divide the bottom number into the top number. So we're just gonna take six and we're gonna divide it into the five. Now notice that six cannot divide into five because five is smaller than six. So we're gonna put a decimal right there and we're gonna transfer that right up to the top. We're gonna to say zero sixes can divide into the five. We're gonna add another decimal or a zero behind that decimal. And now we're gonna say, well, how many times can six go into 50? And the answer is eight. So we get eight times six is 48 and we're left with a two. I can add another zero bring that down so now how many times does six go into 20 and the answer is three times and that's going to be 18 and if we subtract these again remember each time we're subtracting right here i'm back to a tw two bring down that next zero and i'm at 20 so we can see that this is going to repeat so 0 0.833333 repeating Okay, so we will, uh, we're trying to convert this to a uh, percentage, and right now we're at a decimal. And all we have to do is take this number that's on top and multiply by 100. And what does that mean? Well, that means take this decimal and move it one, two times to the right. So what's our final answer going to be? 83.3%. So that is our final answer. Okay, and now let's move on to converting a decimal into a percentage. Well, in the uh, last example that I did there, remember this one right here, five over six, we had to do 
uh, some division there and we ended up with a decimal and then we just multiplied that by 100 which meant moving the decimal two spaces to the right so this uh, conversion right here is actually quite easy we're just going to take that decimal and one two one two one two one two we're just going to move it over two times in each one of these situations and that is like i said multiplying it by 100 we're multiplying every one of these by 100 but it's just very simple to move that decimal so my answer right here is going to be three percent this one is going to be 35 percent 427 percent and 315 percent Okay, and the last concept we're going to work on for this lesson is placing these in order. Now, it's really easy to do if they're in the same format, but you can see we've got a fraction of 1 over 6, a percentage, 18%, and a decimal, 0 0.15. So basically, what I need to do is just get them all into the same format. And the easiest one to put it in would probably be into decimal form. Okay, so the first one is already in decimal form, that is just 0 0.15. And remember that when we're taking decimal to a uh, percentage, we moved the decimal two spaces to the right. That's because we multiplied by 100. So to go from percentage to decimal, we just do the opposite. We're dividing by 100, which means we're going to move the decimal one two spaces to the left. So this is going to be 0 0.15. Five. Oop, sorry, 0 0.18. Okay, and 1 over 6, again, happens to be one of those ones we haven't memorized. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math. So we're going to divide the bottom number, the denominator, into the top number. It doesn't go in there. Carry up the decimal. Add a 0. 6 goes into 10 one time. Give us 6. We've got a remainder of 4 after we subtract. Add it. Oops. Add another zero, bring it down, and how many times does six go into 40? It goes in six times, which is six times six, 36. Subtract again, and we're back to four. So this is just gonna repeat forever. So again, if I'm going to look at this uh, as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.166, sort of repeating. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Now, when we put it in order, there's going to be two different ways that we can put it into order. One is ascending, which is essentially going up. Okay, so you're going up and descending, which is going down. So ascending, we're gonna start with the lowest point and go to the highest point. So that would be 0 0.15 followed by 0 0.16 repeating and followed by 0 0.18. And descending, we would start with the opposite one. So it's just the, op, uh, the flipped version of that. We would start with the large one, 0 0.18, followed by 0 0.16 repeating, and finally 0 0.15. And that's the end of the lesson. We'll see you in class.